Well, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning, and I am excited about what God has for us uh, today at The Journey. So uh, if you get a chance and you're in the valley, join us at The Journey Baptist Church in Palm Desert. We are going to have a great night of study groups. Uh, we have study groups for adults, teens, and children. We even have uh, nursery care if that's something you'll need so you can enjoy your study. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing all of you out tonight at 6.30. So ex uh, just kind of consider this your engraved invitation. You are wanted there. We are having a great time going through the Beatitudes. And uh, they these have been really impactful to my own life. I've, I've been amazed at, at what I'm learning going through these Beatitudes again, maybe for the 15th time uh, uh, in my own personal life. And so uh, I hope that you'll come and you'll be encouraged by what you hear. Uh, this morning we're in promise number 103 and we're in Ephesians chapter number two, verse number 19. And this should really impact our lives on multiple levels. Uh, the, God promises that he has made us a member of his household. Uh, he has brought us into a relationship with him that is way more than just simply being allowed to be in a general area. We are considered one of his very own. In fact, let me read the passage to you, and then let me share with you a few ways that this should impact our lives. Verse number 19 says this, is says, now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners. He's talking about those that have honestly put their trust and their faith in Jesus to save them from their sins, that they are putting their trust and faith in what the Bible says about who Jesus is, what he accomplished, and where he is now. I mean, that's, our, that's what that's based on. He goes, that you're no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. And so he says, you've been brought into the household of God. Now, now that should be a relief to us, number one, that we have been counted as someone that can be a part of God's family. Uh, it's not a matter of worthiness because Jesus is the one that's worthy and he puts that worthiness on us. But it also comes with a... I don't know, a, a pressure or a weight of measuring up or living up to. The Bible uses the phrase walk worthy just, just over and over again, repetitively, that we are expected to walk in a manner that represents who we are. We are a member of the household of God, and we're supposed to live as if we're members of the household of God. That's his promise to us, that if you'll put your trust and faith in Jesus, he will make you a member of the house of God. And that means that we are going to be becoming more and more and more like that role that we've been given. We're a part of the family and we're gonna to begin to develop family traits. And I wanna encourage you with this, work, allow the word of God to work in your lives toward that end, that you are becoming more and more uh, like your father in heaven, that you are seeking to please him more and more and more. And so let that be an encouragement to you today that if you put your trust and faith in him, you are a part of the household of God. And there's nothing you can do to, to remove yourself from that distinction but we can certainly live up to it as well. So I hope that helps. Enjoy a great day.